This is herbivores versus carnivores. Let's see, round one. The big migration. Let's call it that. Oh! <laughs> that breath is riding the trike. <laughs> oh my god, this is... Can you, can you see some green in there? Hey guys, welcome to Crawl Unchained for some more Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Today I'm taking several of the suggestions I received since I started posting ARBS videos and I'm making them happen for everyone's entertainment. Now right now you guys are watching me doing simple modifications to a rhino and the reason is because in my first ARBS video I put one of these little rhinos against a much bigger woolly rhino and to my big surprise the smaller rhino won the fight. After that happened I said I had to give this rhino a name as a joke but then two of you guys gave me some name suggestions in the comments. So this gave me the idea of creating two rhinos and naming them using the names that you guys gave me and then having them fight each other. The winner gets to be saved as a permanent creature and will of course keep its name. The two names which were suggested were Impasi Horn and Shank Tank. So the idea here is to give them just very basic armor with slightly different looks to make it easier for us to recognize them. So I went with very basic shoulder pads and a little bit of extra armor on the forehead just for looks. So now that the two rhinos are ready, let's get this show started. There you go. Place your bets. Time to start. Impossi horn on the left, shank tank on the right. Looks like uh, Impossi Horn is getting more hits. I think Impossi Horn is going to win unless Shank Tank turns this around. We're going to make this a uh, two out of three. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fall off the map. <laughs> I think, I think the shoulder pads on Impossi Horn are actually making a difference here. Looks like Shank Tank is completely unable to get a, an angle on him. Shoulder pads on Impossi Horn are a little bit bigger, so it's possible. It's possible that fight might not be fair after all. I might have to adjust that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it was it was still a close match to be honest. So turns out the shoulder pads here, they're a little bit bigger and they're thicker. And I think this played in Impossi Horn's favor. So we're gonna have to make Shank Tank's shoulder pads the same size. We're not gonna take away that win. That win remains, but yeah, the shoulder pads on this guy are definitely smaller.
All right, let's try this again. This is going to be round two. Round two, fight. Once again, Impossi Horn on the left, Shank Tank on the right. There seems to be more contact on both sides now. More hits on both sides, but maybe not. Looks like Embossy Horn is definitely. <laughs> He's determined to win this. I don't know. There's something about the uh, the shoulder pads that I did that gives him an advantage, but it was really unintentional. I don't know why. some more hits he's definitely getting more stabs in there oh yeah it's non-stop now so unless unless shank Tank manages to turn this around he's he's pretty much done he needs to get into a position where he just gets free hits basically Your Rhino wins. Impossi Horn wins. He won two matches in a row. It didn't matter if I modified uh, the shoulder pads a little bit. I don't know if that thickness really made a difference. Um, I think it might have done it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> so there you go. Your Rhino wins. Impossi Horn wins. So this is the one that's going to remain. So we're going to delete Shank Tank because... We're keeping Impossi Horn in there. All right. Next suggestion is from Ender Mar. 
and they want to see a spino versus some raptors and uh the notes i took don't mention any numbers so we're just gonna put one spino in there all right round one Raptors are latched on to, well, the legs and the arms. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it when he throws them away like that. There you go. <laughs> this one's attached to the leg. There you go, off the map that one. We'll never see that one again. I love it. I, that's never going to get old. Never. Oh, look at that one. Oh, oh, never, never, never mind. Yeah, no. You got crushed. Yeah, and see ya. <laughs> that is never, ever going to get old. All right, so we're going to change the landscape. There you go. This is just gonna make it easier to see. And now we're gonna go all day nose. There you go. Round two, start. I think, I think the Raptors might win, cause yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so 25 was way too many. 12. Let's see if it can handle. Nah. You know what? Let's go 14. They, they might still win because that's a lot of damage. While he's trying to take care of one, he's taking massive amounts of damage from all the others. like 14 might be enough. Yep. Yep. He can't kill them fast enough. There you go. That's six more. So that's 20 in total against two Spinos. So uh, that's maybe 10 per Spino. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Whee! Yeah, Spinos might win that one. These Raptors, they like they look like they don't know what to do. Oh yeah, Spinos are gonna win this. Even if one dies, I think the other one can handle the rest. Yeah, one's dead. Uh I might be wrong actually. There's quite a few left. Yeah, they they might kill it. They might kill it. He can't, he can't get to them. He's struggling. <laughs> oh my God. That is insane. So one Spino can't handle 10. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's declare the Raptors the winners on this one. Yeah, we're gonna move on to the next one here. And Phantom wants to see a mirror match. So basically he wants to see the same thing on both teams, but he didn't specify what. So, you know what? Something that makes it easy to see for both teams is things that where I can select colors like this. So we're gonna go with two of these like gray and yellow T-Rexes against two of the red ones let's see what happens here and actually i think the starting position actually matters so right now i think the distance between each team is is very similar so 
Because the, the starting position definitely matters. So round one, mirror match, T-Rex versus T-Rex. Oh, they're double teaming against one right now. Interesting strategy from the yellow team. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> red team decided, you know what? Let's split them up. That's an interesting fight. I kind of like it. Oh, one from the red team was taken down. I think we're going to see yellow team victory here. Yep. That was round one. All right. Round two. Mirror match T-Rex. Yeah, they're starting the same way. Oh, no. The red T-Rex responded differently this time. Oh, is the yellow T-Rex... I thought he was going to try and throw him out. This fight turned into two duels. Oh, the red one. Wow. Are the yellow T-Rexes really that much stronger? Because they both won their duels. Wow, okay, well that's two victories. I was gonna do three matches, I mean it's two out of three. So yellow T-Rexes win. The red Rexes just, nope, they could not get a win. All herbivores, from Victor Ribeiro. All herbivores versus all carnivores. So we're gonna go team one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the, the carnivores have one more, but two of them are pretty, pretty small. So we'll go, well, well, we'll just do two out of three with these teams here. We're not gonna try and balance anything out. I mean, this is herbivores versus carnivores. Let's see, round one. Oh, T-Rex went straight for the Therry. I mean, that makes sense because I put them face to face. Start to follow what's going on everywhere. It's like to follow everybody's fights. What is that Anki doing? He just killed one of the Raptors, I think. Oh, the Spino's dead. Allo is fighting Anki. Oh, he just killed the Stego. We still have the Dano still alive. Wow, that's impressive. Bracky just died. I oh my god. I thought the Spino was dead, but looks like it wasn't. It was just stunned. Anki is the last one remaining for the herbivores. All of the biggest carnivores are still alive. We're going to go again like that. And if it's still that one-sided, we're, we're going to give the herbivores a little bit of help. The Stego was on this side last time. Now the Stego's helping out the Bracky. And the trike, but the trike is already dead. Anki looks like already killed the Carno. Oh, no, the Carno's still alive. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, herbivores do not stand a chance. There he's the only one with the Bracky still alive. Nope, Bracky's the only one left. And he is down. The Spino almost died. Okay, you know what? We're gonna add a few units to the herbivore side, but we're not gonna double any units. So we're gonna go to the prehistoric mammals here. And we're gonna add the woolly rhino. I think that's team two actually. And the woolly mammoth. We're gonna add it here. 
But that's two more units on the herbivore side. Hopefully, they're going to help out a little bit. You know what? We might... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm going to do this as well. <laughs> I think you guys are going to like that one. We're going to add our buddy, the Impossi Horn, to the herbivore side. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Uh, I love this. This is just a bonus match. It doesn't really count. I mean, obviously carnivores won, but I I'm just trying to balance things out here. So team one, we have 645 uh, is the cost. And then team two, 819. Let's see if these additions to the team can make a difference. Ow. Little Rhino and Bossy Horn just got hit by his buddy. Looks like things are not going to, in the Carnivore's favor this time. Something just got crushed. Oh, that woolly rhino is doing some work right there. The spino is now down. Oh, yeah. These three units are definitely making a difference there. I think Imposti Horn didn't make it this time. Actually, you know what? No, he did make it. Poor guy. That was quite interesting. Okay, let's remove this one. Obviously, he's the one that made all the difference. <laughs> and yeah, okay. Let's remove the mammoth. Let's see. I, I think adding the, the big rhino here with the smaller guys definitely made a big difference here. and the small rhino is going to make the carnivores win again. Look at that power fighting the... <laughs> oh my god. It's like, hey, wait for me, guys. I'm coming back. Oh, rhino's dead. Bracky's dead. Oh yeah, carnivores are winning this one. Okay, so we're going to move on from this matchup. This was a pretty fun fight, but we're moving on. Um, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> the way I wrote it felt like it was the exact same thing, but no. So, Kenneth Nuckles, I'm sorry if I'm messing up your name, um, wants to see herbivores in a line as if they're in migration or something and then attacked by a bunch of carnivores. So for this one, we're actually going to change the uh, landscape a little bit. We're going to go for this one. This one is bigger and there's some vegetation. So we're going to go all the herbivores in a line attacked by carnivores. And we're going to go like a, an actual migration type thing. big migration let's call it that the herbivores shouldn't have split up like that that's an interesting fight right here I think that Brack he might win
Shrek, he's stuck. He won the fight, but he's stuck. Oh, Brackies over here won their fight. Oh no, despite when the T-Rex decided to team up. That's dangerous. Lots of Brackies left. <laughs> T-Rex <laughs> getting pushed around like a bunch of bullies. Spino as well. Yeah, T-Rex is now dead. Yeah, so Brackies are definitely winning this. Alright, so it looks like the Brackies made all the difference here now something that i'm actually interested to try out is yes i could set them to guard oh yeah and set them to guard okay now these are all set to guard so they're gonna get attacked by the stuff in the woods but they should all stick together like this. Let's see. Let's try this again. The big migration times. No, nope, they're not doing it. And yeah, that stack goes pretty much done. Watch the Yankees. More Carnos. <laughs> Herbivore is one, but not not as good as the last time. So we're gonna add, I think, two more dinosaurs on the other team because obviously things are not balanced here. Uh, so we're gonna add an aloe on both sides. Because the yellow is pretty strong, so... And I think that should bring things a lot closer. And maybe maybe a few raptors. Because we don't have any raptors. So let's bring... Two here. And then two here. That's four raptors. Actually, maybe a bit more. Just to balance the score. The score is still not the same. So now we, we got 1,700 on both sides, pretty much. Yeah. It's not quite the same, but I think these raptors are definitely going to do some damage. There's, that's like eight raptors total. They're definitely going to do some damage. I think I think this is going to turn the tides on the counterbore's favor.
Chargers, they can't win this. They got three Cardinals on them. It's a pretty tough match. It's a tight match still. A lot tighter than I would have imagined. Oh yeah, the Allo's definitely making a difference here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! How's that raptor holding on right like that? Oh, we got reinforcements coming from the back. Big Bracky. Yeah, no, the, the carnivores are definitely winning this one. We don't have enough units on the herbivore side this time. Herbivores still won. Okay, I did not see that one coming. I really thought the units I added to the uh, to the carnivores would make all the difference there. So we have two units still alive on the herbivore side. Okay, we need to see this again without making any changes just to see. Because that was not one-sided at all. That was not like the, the first few fights. Let's start this again. coming they took care of all the paras oh, yeah i think the carnos are definitely winning this one well i mean we don't know we don't know that's a lot of carnivores left oh we got a bracky coming to help yeah it's not a sure win for either side but i think yeah the herbivores definitely turned the tides on their favor there or in their favor yeah, that T-Rex can't win this by himself. That was a big uppercut right there. Liver shots. Oh, okay, now T-Rex is down. That is three units still alive. So we had some cavalry there on the herbivore side for a while. You, you, we, we had a Bracky riding a trike, you know, riding into battle on a trike. Can't go wrong with that. Let's add some Velociraptors on the on the carnivore side and see if that makes a difference. We're going to add some Raptors here. One, two, three, four. Same thing on the other side. Uh, we're going to add them to that side here. One, two, three, four. There you go. Now let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, some of the raptors are already dead. <laughs> I just saw one. I just saw one flying across the map. Oh, okay. I thought the Paras had a fair fight here on their hands, but the T-Rex just decided, nope. I don't want that fight to be fair. What's going on here? Oh, Drake is carrying a car now. That's one of the small brackies, I think. 
Uh, it's not that small, actually. It's still, it's still riding the train. Oh, Trike is coming to hell. I don't think he's gonna do much. He's a little bit too late here. Yeah, that Trike is done for. But I think the Brackies here are doing good. Oh, there's a Trike still alive here and a small Bracky. It's gonna be a pretty fair fight. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think the the carny the blah, 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 blah. carnivores might actually win this one. I've been wrong ever since the beginning. I've been wrong on my guesses, so I don't know. We never know. Two brackies. The herbivores win again. Oh, this is the clo closest match so far. Oh, wow. Oh my God, this is. Can you can you see some green in there? This is insane. This is the amount of HP left on the map after this fight. That is insane how close that match was. Okay, I still have quite a few of your suggestions. I'm gonna keep them for another video. I just wanna do one more fight. One that it's, it's, you know, one of my own ideas. And then we're gonna call it a video. And then next video where I do your suggestions, I'm gonna do the rest. We have like, Dinosaur guy asking if we can do three Pteranodons versus one Aloe and then Saltwater Croc versus Aloe. Then we have God F Solus who wants to see Goro versus a Spino and a Rex. Then we have Orange Gaming asking for a Bracky versus two Rexes and then five Rexes versus 20 Therizinosaurus. Then Kex Krieger 44. How many Danos it takes to take down a Bracky? And then Lose the Dinosaur wants to see a thousand Raptors versus 35 Ankies with guns. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely going to be like the, the epic finish of the next video. But we're, we're not going to do a thousand Raptors just because my computer is not going to be able to take that many. Um, we're, we're gonna scale that fight down to something that my computer can manage, but I thought it's still a funny idea and we're definitely gonna do it. Uh, but all of these are gonna be done in the next video. For now, I just, I wanna see some Pteranodons fighting against some, um, what's the name of that creature again? Hang on, it's in fantasy, Wyverns, yes. So let's do one side Wyverns, the other side Pteranodons. So team one is 350. So we're going to have 350 on that side as well. Okay. So two points difference. I think in a, in a match like this, I think that the numbers make a difference because it's only five against 22. I think, I think the Pteranodons are going to win. So we're going to reduce their numbers as we go just to try and balance things out. can see the wyverns going down fairly quickly it's hard to tell oh, that wyvern just killed the turn of dawn 
All right, so how many how many terras are left? That's a lot. They're landing in their original spots. This is insane. Okay, so that's five, 10, 13. Yeah, so I counted right the first time. <laughs> you having problems, buddy? <laughs> Forgot how to land. <laughs> Okay, so that's 13 left out of 20. So we're gonna we're actually gonna add to the other team instead of removing from that team. So we're gonna add three more. Let's see if that makes a difference. To be honest, they managed to split up the the terras enough to uh, to pick them off one by one. Yeah, just adding three more made all the difference. That's whoa, like five left. That's that's a lot. Okay, so maybe. Remove one, see how much of a difference that makes. That's two wyverns dead already. Yeah, okay, so the Terras might win this one. There's some left on both sides, but that's a lot of Terras left. Oh yeah, they're they're done. The, the Wyverns are done. Just one one less made that that much of a difference. Wow. That's ten left. That's crazy. I just removed one. Let's try again. Wow. Wyverns might get that one. They're doing good so far. enough wyverns to take no no way just one wyvern makes all the difference a valiant effort a valiant effort indeed that's six left this time all right, guys, I'm going to end it here. Please continue to share your suggestions in the comments. Just please be aware that there's a limit to the amount of units my computer is able to handle. <laughs> I'm going to say once we reach about 100 units on the map, there's a good chance that we might start losing FPS. Still, I think that there's a lot of fun to be had, even with just 100 units. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments. All feedback is welcome. You guys take care, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.